In this video, I'm going to talk about the brand new 3D printers that Creality announced on the 1st of December. The Creality CR10 Smart Pro, the Creality Ender 3 S1 and also the Ceremon V1 and the V1 Pro. Getting the latest news and updates right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and if you're new here consider subscribing, hit the notification button to get the latest news and updates right in your YouTube alerts. If you want to have an inside scoop before YouTube check me on Twitter Zachary underscore Bergen. I also do some live streams on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Zachary 3D Prints. And now let's get into the video. So first a little side note, a little disclaimer, all the pictures and the specs I'm going to share during this video are from the website from Coreality.com. So let's start with the first 3D printer in line of the announced 3D printers, the Coreality CR10 Smart Pro. If you are looking to the machine, you notice that it looks almost the same as the older version, the CR10 Smart. Well, to start from top to bottom, then we find some interesting new features on this 3D printer. The filament spool holder was on the older version on the side, now they put it on top of the machine, tilted to the back side. So, meaning that I think this is a 45 degree angle with a filament run out detection installed as well. As you follow the filament to the bottom, you will find a brand new direct drive extruder. The older version had the Bowden style extruder, but this one has a new designed direct drive extruder. They call it the Sprite. It's a pancake stepper motor that they use a gear ratio from 1 to 3.5. It has a metal bracket where the parts cooling fan is installed to. There is a CR touch installed on this printhead as well. Also the way of leveling is changed because on the old version you had a strain gauge and here you have the CR touch installed on the machine. Furthermore the whole direct drive is at hand so that this 3D printer can print also some other materials like PA, nylon, carbon fiber. The nozzle temperatures for this machine are up to 300 degrees. So that means that in this hot end there is also a titanium alloy heat break installed and also some fancy wording nozzle. This nozzle has a temperature up to 300 degrees and the heat break will go up to 400 degrees degrees but reading the specs you can go with printing temperatures to 300 degrees maximum. Also the leveling knobs are back on the machine. There are yellow springs so you don't have to level your bed every single time again. There is a 4.3 inch LCD touchscreen which is looking almost similar like the older version but user interface has a whole new setup. There is an RJ45 connector, there's USB connection, there's Wi-Fi connection. This 3D printer is like the old version connected to the Creality Cloud, meaning that everything you can do running the app from Creality. There is also for this 3D printer, there's a camera, a camera with a AI recognition of certain things uh, you can when using using the Creality app you can get a live feed what is going on with your 3D printer when you are not at home. There is also the possibility to put some LED lighting on so the on the top bar you can install a little LED strip to to get, give your printer more light. This machine has still a dual Z lead screw setup, uh, diagonal draw bars making sure that the whole gantry is very stiff. There are also, just like the previous version, belt tensioners for the x-axis and for the y-axis. Also a tool drawer underneath the machine. I did notice that the glass bed, which was on the old version, they have replaced it with a PEI spring steel sheet. Much more improvement. The printing volume 300 times 300 times 400, so a decent size 3D printer. The nozzle diameter is 0.4. The price of this 3D printer is going to be around the 699 US dollars. If I find the link, I will put the link in the description of this video where you can buy it. So, can I say that the Ender 3 S1 
is a beefed up Ender 3 V2 or will I get killed in the comments? So let's start with the whole machine in general. If you're looking at it on the right side, you will see the screen which they also use on the Ender 3 V2. Like mentioned, this 3D printer has also like the CR10 Smart Pro, also the filament spool holder on top of it and also tilted backwards at an angle of 45 degree. Also filament run out sensor installed on the filament spool holder and then going down you have the direct drive extruder. It's the same kind of thing like they used on the CR10 Smart Pro. I'm not sure if they use the same kind of hot ends as they use on the CR10 Smart Pro. Uh, dual gear extruder, so more torque when you are extruding your filament. There's a CR Touch installed and also like the other one, there are some bad leveling knobs installed. A 32-bit silent mainboard, a dual Z lead screw setup, way to go Creality, well done. Uh, finally, machines are going to be more reliable having two dual lead screws instead of having one. A 4.3 inch LCD touchscreen, oh, 4.3 inch non touchscreen. This one has also a removable PC spring steel print sheet. This is very nice, well done Creality. Finally, having this spring steel sheet instead of glass beds. This helps also when you have those, those thumb screws, they are installed on the bottom of the aluminum plate, which can cause some problems like we have seen on the CR6SE. And also a laser engraving module. So that is also a cool thing. You can take the whole direct drive off and then install the laser module. Build size or the printing volume of this 3D printer 220, 220 times 270 millimeters. The supported filaments are PLA, TPU, PET, G, and ABS. Printing speed is 150 millimeters per second at the maximum. The maximum nozzle temperature is 260 degrees so this 3D printer will cost around the 399 US dollars. Link is in the description of this video. So and now the Ceremon V1 and the V1 Pro. I thought that this printer would be large, big. If you look to the screen it's a 4.3 inch touch screen. The screen is big on the machine because the machine isn't that big. I will come back later on that why I do think that. This 3D printer, as Creality says, is a out of the box printing. Uh, smart co control and silent printing. So on the front side, we have an SD card slot, which is very nice. On the top, you can watch your print. You can watch it on the left side and on the front side. And if you are buying the Ceremon V1 Pro, you have also a camera inside of the printer. If you make the door open, the print will pause. Uh, so leveling free, if I look to this 3D printer, you have four screws on the top that you can unscrew and then you can take the whole direct drive away from the carriage. So that is a very nice design thing. Smart control in the palm of the hand. So this 3D printer is operated from out of the Creality Cloud. However, like mentioned, you can also slice in Cura, slice in Prusa, slice or or any other slicing program and then put it on the SD card and put the SD card right in the printer. So feed in, feed out. If, if I read something like this, this is something that Creality already has on several 3D printers. This is not something new. Maximum printing volume of this 3D printer, strap on, 175 times 175 times 165. This printer has a smaller printing volume than the Prusa Mini. The machine dimension, in this case I'm going to mention, is 485 times 465 times 526. So like mentioned, the printer isn't that big. A supported filament, PLA, ABS and PET-G. The maximum nozzle temperature is 250 degrees max. I don't know what the price difference is between the two, but I would go for the Pro version. I think in the end, uh, if you are going to operate this 3D printer inside of a school environment or inside of a 
uh, environment where children are, you want to have the pro version instead of the uh, basic version. I will put the link in the description of this video uh, where you can buy it and also mentioning the price. This video is supported by these awesome Patreon supporters. Lloyd Moses, The Lightspeed, Fixum Dude and Carl Fenton. Thank you guys for your awesome support. You can also support this channel by checking the Patreon link in the description of the video and becoming a patron of this YouTube channel. If you're still watching, you are amazing. Thank you for that. On the end card, there's some recommended videos worth watching. Please like this video, share this video with other people and on social media. And hey, let's make awesome things with 3D printing. Zachary, 3D Prints. Bye-bye.